And so begins the last morning of my sabbatical, my five-week road trip of the UK in my grandfather's old camper van. Wayborn Beach, sunrise. Colin? Hello? Are you excited to see me? Are you excited to see me? Are you excited? Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Mr. Wurzel. Oh, good morning. Come on in. Come on in. Well, for my last breakfast, I had all these wonderful plans for a big Scottish fry up, but I didn't feel like it, so we're back on the pancakes. Look at that. Got them started. All steamed up, just like I make the ladies. Well, there you go, I suppose. Breakfast is served. And Wales is just not bothered. Right then, time to move off. So it's homeward bound now. Last day, where's the most suitable place to take my grandfather's van? Through a hedge, obviously. As somebody who always looked like being dragged through a hedge backwards, it's only appropriate that uh, I make the effort to continue. <laughs> That's me that looks like it, not my grandfather. Well, it's only right, really, isn't it? At the end of an epic road trip like this. At the start of 1989, that camper van over there of mine, which we've all become familiar with over the last 35 days on the road around the UK, was delivered to my grandfather here in Aylsham. It's time you met him, kind of. Stanley Frederick Crane died 4th December 1989. He didn't even get a year's use out of it. The reason we've still got it in the family is because it was brand new and it was the last big thing he bought and my parents decided to keep it on and they couldn't part with it and it's been mine for a couple of three years now so grandpa I think you'd be pleased wouldn't you I've done 35 days in your van I visit the places in the UK or a lot of the places in the UK that you went during the war so if you remember back to the very first day of my road trip I went and found the grave of my great-grandparents on my father's paternal side, Frederick Charles Crane and Laura May Crane. So here, on the very last day, are my great-grandparents on my father's maternal side, Blythe May Row and Robert Leonard Row, also in Elsham Churchyard. Yeah, right, so this is Hainford Preschool. Ainford Village Hall in Norfolk. Think back to 30th of March 1977, the punk era. Now a certain protagonist in our story here, it was his birthday and he received the most beautiful, fantastic and amazing birthday card that he'd ever seen in his life. Okay, It was quite large, it was bigger than A5, and it had a full photographic front, okay, a photo. And I think it was Lego on it, but I can't be sure on that. It was beautiful, it was the stuff of one, it was like the most amazing card I'd ever seen. And uh, I was at this nursery at the time, and I came in and I brought my card in to show everybody because I was so proud and amazed and pleased with it. So there I was, four years old, fourth birthday, coming to nursery here with my gorgeous birthday card and some little bastard called Ross, he bit it. Like a wolf. Arr, arr. Big, big teeth marks in his wonderful car. Big, ruined it. And I cried and cried and cried. It's my birthday. You can't cry. People can't bully. He was a little shit, that Ross. It's a little, oh man. And he bit it, left tooth marks, right, big crescent of tooth marks in my birthday card. Now, how'd you get over that? Al says I need, need to let it go. My mum says I need to let it go. I'm not letting it go. I'm not letting it go. But I'll tell you what, right? He who laughs last, laughs longest. And little old Ross, 
wasn't all the same day, but I can still picture him when he thought he would be, because he was naughty, he thought he would have himself an extra drink. Yeah, it was paint, wasn't it, Ross? It was paint. You drank the paint. <laughs> you were crying, being carried to the bathroom to have your mouth washed out. <laughs> well, I hope it poisoned you. Now, here's a funny thing. So I've come through Norwich. See where these trees are on this roundabout? This is Chapelfield Roundabout. This was actually the site of the Norwich Drill Hall where my grandfather enlisted, was attested and embodied and began his war from. Now how, how cool is that? Well I just stopped briefly near my parents because I guess there would be some fresh cherries. Look at that man not just cherries so this is just round the corner see all these these are bullaces these are a wild plum common in Norfolk now there's a ripe one these I've got uh, it's not quite ripe I know that one so you've got yellow ones you've got the red ones you've got the purple ones there's a lovely ripe one look at that lovely it's small they're cherry size mm -mm -mm. lots of windfalls already these are gorgeous make amazing jam these are awesome. Always enjoy these. We used to pick these as kids. So here we are, coming into Haddisco. Come to see my parents. I'm 10 miles from home. This is where the camper van lived for 30 odd years. Let's see if they're about. Look, they've got one of those big buses now. They, they swapped that for this. Madness. Bet they regret it. Here he comes, here comes Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Your exhaust is a bit noisy. Yes. Well looky looky. There's a there's a wind turbine there. What could that possibly mean? Well if I'm not very much mistaken, 35 days ago I was parked there. In front of this. That's Gulliver that is. Tallest wind turbine in the whole wide world. And if I just move down here a little way, we can see that I'm pretty much almost home. Now the weather's a bit brighter. 35 days ago I was down here at Nest Point, the most easterly point of mainland UK. So let's have a look around and see where it is that I have been. Well there we go, we went here didn't we? 352 miles away. Lizard Point, South Cardinal, that direction. Look at that, 451 miles that way. I remember that night. Ardnamurkin Point, the most westerly point of mainland UK. Oh yes, 472 miles away. Done it head, the most northerly point, mainland UK. From there, it was on Orkney. This is Ness Point. This here is Britain's most easterly point. And this is mainland Britain's most easterly dump stone bicycle. Oh yeah, of course we're back in Lowestoft. Traffic, jam, bridge probably up. Well ladies and gentlemen, you can see that we've arrived back in Lowestoft on account of the usual chaos of a traffic jam. No doubt the bridge is up, has been up, or is about to go up. Right then, here we are. Let's go find my daughters. Let's see, are they outside the front waving flags? Are they? Are they? They're not. They're not waving flags. There's no, there's no children here waving flags for me. Hang on, is it? I there gonna, she is. I was, was going to do this to you and film you instead. Oh, that would have been cool too. We can film each other. You all right, sweetheart? Yeah. Oh, it's my little Abby, my little daughter. Oh, it's good to see you. It's Look good at my to new see shoes. you. 
She's got new shoes. Get how many shoes you got now? I have to call you Amelda. What? Amelda Marcos. Just because you only wear one pair of shoes. I threw my Converse away. They stank. Hey, here she is. Here she is. You have a YouTuber. Everything Eloise. Hello, sweetheart. You alright? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. How she's are just you? washed her hair especially because she's looking a bit minging. Oh, you alright? Yeah, I'm going you have a shower now, don't you? you. Oh, you can have a shower now. Minging. Now, now, now that now that you've like been hugged by the shirt of doom, you can you can have a shower. So I picked the girls up and we're coming, we're going for burger, can't we? You come, come, come. Where's Eloise? Where's my daughter? There she is. There she. Is. So mean to me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we're in Burger King and this is the first time I've gone and got some fast food so we've been away. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go, I've pulled up at home. 3,800.5 miles since leaving. Look at that. That was marvellous and I've got my daughters here and we're eating ice creams. So the first ice creams I had on my holiday. Well that's just stupid isn't it? Oh, see? Attitude! Attitude! <laughs> There's my beautiful Spitfire. With its polka dot patterning. Thanks. Mm, look at that. Nice. Oh, the weeds have come up. I got rid of them as well. Let's go in. Into my house. For the first time in 35 days. What a mess they've got. Nice one, daughters. What a mess! What a mess! What? What? What on earth is going on? I left my house tidy and clean. This is pandemonium and havoc. That's it. I had enough. I'm leaving. I'm getting in my van and I'm going. Well, they thought this day would never come. But sad to say, sorry old friend, it's time you went in the washing machine. Hmm. Smells as good as new. You could go another two months with that. I don't know. I don't know what you're all talking about. Uh...